export finance and document submission to the bank. Export finance refers to the credit facilities extended to the exporters at pre-shipment and post-shipment stages. It includes any loan to an exporter for financing the purchase, processing, manufacturing or packing of goods meant for overseas markets. Credit is also extended after the shipment of goods to the date of realization of export proceeds. In this lesson, we will learn various schemes of finance available to exporters at pre-shipment and post-shipment stages. After studying this lesson, you should be able to understand pre-shipment finance, types of post-shipment finance, documents required for bank submission. Pre-shipment finance is provided to the exporters for the purchase of raw materials, processing them and converting them into finished goods for the purpose of export. Packing credit refers to any loan to an exporter for financing the purchase, processing, manufacturing or packing of goods as defamed by the Reserve Bank of India. It is a short-term credit against exportable goods. Packing credit is normally granted on secured basis. Sometimes clear advance may also be granted. Many advances are clean at the initial stage when goods are not yet acquired. Once the goods are acquired and are in the custody of the exporter banks, usually convert the clean advance into hypothecation pledge. When the value of the materials to be procured for export is more than FOV value of the contract, the exporters may get packing credit advance more than the FOB value of the goods. The excess cost of production over the FOB value of the contract represents incentives receivables. For example, when the domestic price of goods exceeds the value of export orders, the difference represents duty drawback entitlement. Banks can grant advances against duty drawback at pre-shipment stage subject to the condition that the loan is covered by Export Production Finance Guarantee of Export Credit Guarantee Corporation ECGC. This guarantee enables banks to sanction advances at the pre-shipment stage to the full extent of cost of production. The extent of cover and the premium are the same as for packing credit guarantee. This is an additional window to rupee packing credit scheme. This credit is available to cover both the domestic and imported inputs of the goods exported from India. The facility is available in any of the convertible currencies. The credit will be self-liquidating in nature and accordingly after the shipment of goods the bills will be eligible for discounting or rediscounting or for post-shipment credit in foreign currency. The exporters can avail this finance under the option if the exporters may avail pre-shipment credit in rupees and then the post-shipment credit either in rupees or in foreign currency denominated credit or discounting or rediscounting of export bills. The exporters may avail pre-shipment credit in foreign currency and discounting or rediscounting of the export bills in foreign currency. Where the documents are drawn under a letter, the letter to the bank should be enclosed with the documents as prescribed in the letter of credit, if any, or stipulated in the export order or such document which enables the buyer to take delivery of the goods and the documents required by the exporter to claim assistance. The documents generally required by any bank to negotiate or collect necessary payment from abroad and by the exporter include Bill of Exchange Full set of Bill of Lading or Airway Bill Post Parcel Slip Combined Transport Documents, etc. Commercial Invoice including one copy duly certified by the Customs 
The number of copies should be the same as specified by the customs may also be acceptable in cases where the particulars furnished in the GR form agree with those indicated in the copy of invoice produced by the exporter and the value of the invoice agrees with the value of goods passed for shipment by customs. Original letter of credit Customs invoice or consular invoice Certificate of origin GSP or APR certificate Insurance policy or certificate with complete set Packing list Foreign exchange declaration form Bank certificate of export realization in the prescribed form In triplicate Other documents if required now this is the time to check the progress. Let us find out if the given statements are right or wrong. The drawing of a bill of exchange is the method quite rarely used by exporters as a means of obtaining payment from buyers for goods shipped. Right or wrong? Wrong. EPZ stands for Export Promoting Zone. Right or wrong? Wrong. Exim Bank raises short-term foreign currency funds on a revolving basis from one or more syndicates of overseas lenders. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Export finance is provided at the pre-shipment and post-shipment stages. In India, the export credit facilities are provided largely by commercial banks, RBI, and Exim banks offer refinance. Exim bank, in certain cases, participates with the commercial banks in extending medium and long-term credit to exporters. In India, pre-shipment finance is offered in the form of packing credit, advance against incentives, and pre-shipment credit in foreign currency, PCFC. Packing credit facilities are provided to the exporters for making necessary arrangements for executing export contracts. The basic purpose of packing credit is to enable the eligible exporters to procure, process, manufacture, or store the goods meant for export. It is extended on the strength of either the letter of credit or confirmed export contracts. Generally, the amount of packing credit does not exceed FOB value of the export goods or their domestic value, whichever is less. When the value of the materials to be procured for export is more than FOB value of the contract, the exporters may get the credit against the receivables export incentives. The pre-shipment finance is also made available in foreign currency.